Okay. So we create this. Um, let's create one line. Okay. And if you remember with one line, we can do, we can scale slightly down. Okay. And I think this one will work fine. We can do kind of adjustments. We can go inside um, selections. Okay, let's click disabling. So in a selection, we need a little bit more frequently, actually. Let's try different, maybe instead of one eye, we can always try different time presets. Okay, or instead of one eye, if you want it, you can always have it um, create with an advanced parallel. So it's up to you which one you like it. So in advanced parallel, Go rigid, we just take act of say to one. Okay, and we can go that's zero and we can bring a little bit down like river. So I'm just looking on those scan. Bring stepping a little bit up. And we'll same we can have right there the arrow inverter. connect here for inverter we need to connect to the mask so you can see it's applied specific area um, we also need to kind of apply a little bit more where is the river going so if we need to apply some in this area so let's go next we need to apply additional or mask or other areas but overall we come back to this in a second and we can take this and we can combine it, use it max in this case, bring up. You can see how it's river stop going and spread run again. Um, So bring a little bit closer this way. So and right here we have it very, very close and kind of spread more around this way. Um, the masking is kind of important in this case. So we can take and create additional with generator. We can create several maskings by gradients. You can just combine on the side. Um, we also can just go have it radial mask. as well as properly position and just add here and you can see this location right here we have it radius and we have it also input our coordinates we can go inside the parameters and create a from coordinates generator okay right there let's go put coordinate generator and we can position too much. Let's go zero two. Five, actually wrong direction. So we go minus zero five. So go closer. Take radius smaller. And maybe you know what? Actually, minus 1.5 probably will be better. And right here you can see we're generating closer to the river. Just add kind of a little bit more details. Right around water. This way these lines up so we don't need it too big or too small I mean right here inverter and there we have a nice valley you can see we have a beautiful beautiful um, reveal river Delta of course we will reverse but it's going right 
here, kind of eating closer. Okay, if we look map, you can see right there river coming and river spreading. So add additional lines in effect. Okay, um, next we probably want to add some erosion to this. Uh, we'll go to natural filter, put right there. Let's connect. Okay, right there. Actually, I don't need two, I need just one. Sometimes it's kind of sticking, so you need to work through this. We'll connect to the overall erosion. Um, but again, if we look, I'm not necessarily um, want this, so I want to add my node to preserve some of the erosion, except we'll go through the blur. So we have a little bit bigger area. And we'll set blur to the maybe about three. So just preserve some of the erosions in the area where I don't want it, maybe water where water going in. So it's a little bit helpful. Okay, we'll go channeled and we'll take this to 150. Let's pop up rock hardness a little bit higher. We'll go to carrying maybe too much. Let's go to 180. And we enable. Click OK. Let's preview. So you can see right here we have a nice edge the erosions where we applied. So nice blending. Okay, next things because we have this kind of coastal things, let's go inside natural and we also will add some coastal effect to this. That will help a little bit even better blend and create like real water. So the water level, we can drop down slightly. We could increase, decrease beach size. So let's go beach size a little bit slower. And we'll leave it smaller in another transition. Again, one more preview. You can see right here, we have nice, nice coastal. With the river go bang. And right there, you can even see a nice deep effect. If you need it, increase size. Remember, we can always using equalization. So just as example, we don't necessarily need to write here, but I'm just replace this. So we can equalize, but if we do equalization, it's probably better put it before our erosion. So put it around here. That's what we're going to do. So in this case erosion will kind of let's preview you can see it will apply more interesting kind of rocks again this is just if you need it um, apply equalization to that okay but for me I'll just equalize a little, little bit and I want to equalize before after erosion but before um coastal and we'll take equalization preview okay there you go here we'll go render so we have a nice mountain again remember this is 30 kilometers it's quite a bit big size so it's quite a bit large terrain we have here um some of this effect if you see on a side we need to apply a little bit more erosion to this as well. We can go inside and just pop up. Around here. As well, we can take blur, put it down. So it will help us to blur some specific areas. Or if you need it, we can remove it. And you know what? Let's um, okay, okay, what? coastal right here erosion we can add additional if we want to effect after but i think this is good for now so all what we need to next to do is just take a outputs and start placing them so same things we'll have it at least for the coastal three i like also put it for the flow 
inside. So we'll go uh, four for flow. And we have it three for the hour costal. Okay, let's go connect them. And again, we'll go after and render this inside the view. As a test, so actually this one should go to the high field, just in case we need it. Our flow. And putting also flow help because we can see where is the uh, flow applied to this. So we can see where the render happen. Okay, let's go to this one. And we're going from deposit to deposit. Okay, so right here it's our um, river with flow so we'll look how to create some of those erosions different areas how we can dissolve and work more with the river delta creating inside of course you can spend more time and maybe add mountain on the back or some additional effect but most of this one it is creating this river and how we can implement going inside the ocean this edge of the water better to blend with this to creating special channel and path in the delta.